What's up, role players? This is Will Ransby. Welcome back. Been away for a minute. Been handling some business on our family estate. Planning for restoration. Pretty excited about that. We'll get into more content and more details about that in later upcoming videos. First off, I, I want to make it clear that at Role Players TV, we, we embrace love, unity for all people, regardless of race, culture, or background. But let's be real. We're also defenders of the truth. Here we promote an open platform. Uh, different perspectives and opinions are welcome. And guess what? If we ever get it wrong, we're not too proud to admit it. That's how we grow together. Now, we're about to dive deep into some real history and, and alter an alternative vision, if you will, uh, universe. So let's grow into it. Welcome to Role Players TV. Now imagine a world where the transatlantic slave trade never happened. A world where you melanin descendants of ancient Israel, black people of now what we know as Africa, the continent we now know as Africa, and people of African descent, what? What if they were never colonized, never stripped of their land, their culture, and autonomy? What would the what would the entertainment industry look like? The music industry look like? What would our communities look like today? Let's explore that a little bit. Let's explore explore that alternative universe or uh, that alternative alternative history. Now, without the interference of colonization, black civilizations, would, now known as Africa, would have continued to thrive. The ancient kingdoms of Africa, rich in culture, arts, and science, and technology, would have, would have flourished on their own. No colonizers, no chains, no exploitation. Our people would have maintained control over their land, their, their economy, and most importantly, their culture. Now think about the, the, the modern music industry today, uh, particularly the hip hop and our hip hop pioneers of today. Now, where so many narratives revolve around drugs, violence, exploitation, and sex. Now, imagine if black artists had full control of their art, their labels, their platforms, the music would would still be a powerful force, but the message would focus more on upliftment and of now communities rather than promoting stereotypes for profit. Instead of white record labels exploiting black pain, we'd own the entire industry, keeping the focus on empowerment, healing, and cultural, cultural preservation. No colonization, no slavery, no internalized trauma. The colonization and slavery left deep scars. Language, culture, self-determinations were ripped away from us. Psychological wounds from those atrocities gave, ri gave rise to generations of systemic violence, internalized oppression. But, but what, if, what if it never happened? Sean Puffy Combs, Tupac Shakur, Notorious B.I.G., and R. Kelly... In an alternative history, without colonization, without that generational trauma, would their lives and careers look look entirely different? Instead of being caught up in violence and, and, and rivalries, and Tupac and Tupac and Biggie might have focused more on uniting communities through positive leadership. The media fueled East Coast West Coast beef would wouldn't have even existed, profiting off of their struggles. R. Kelly too. Also, we would have had different life experience. One could have steered him away from 
destructive paths. The destructive path we saw unfold. The destructive path of his mom, of his family. Being abused, generationally abused. Now, in terms of black sovereignty and, and positive role models, yeah, in America there, there, there are positive role models, black role models all over the world, but yeah, sure, yeah. But in this alternative universe, this alternative history, most black people would have built fully sovereign societies free from exploitation. Imagine an entire nation built on our culture, our, our values, our leadership. We be the role models, governance, art, community building. In this world uh, uh, of entertainment, in the world of Tupac and Biggie, it wouldn't be just, they wouldn't just be musical icons, they'd be global leaders. Their, their influence would stretch beyond to, to, to education, activism. They could have led movements that could have further dismantled any remnants of systemic oppression, uplifting the entire black diaspora along their way. The music industry definitely would have looked different. It definitely would have looked different. It would have been a different music industry. Black ownership, black control, black narratives. Without the colonization and exploitation, there would be no space for outsiders to profit off of our traumas. Music would be driven by the need for sensationalism. sensationalism. No more glorification of violent sex and drugs for the sake of sales. Instead, music will remain a tool of storytelling, community building, passing down cultural traditions, things of, of empowerment and unity. It, it would dominate the airwaves and our people would be at the helms of their own stories. Definitely there would be a absence of racially motivated legal systems. Think about the legal system that disproportionately targets black people today. Many of the structures were designed to, during colonization to, to maintain control. A, ro a world where colonization never happened. These systems would not even exist as we know them today. That means black entertainers like Puffy, Tupac, and others might have avoided these legal uh, troubles and traumas that they face today. Wouldn't have been trapped by a system designed to exploit and, and, and profit off of their downfalls. So, role players. In this alternative universe, this history, where a transatlantic slave trade never happened, black communities would, would, would thrive. The you melanin descendants of ancient Israel, the so-called black people, would have maintained control over their narratives, their culture, and their futures. The music industry wouldn't need, would, would likely be a, a place of empowerment rather than a place of exploitation. Puffy, Tupac, and, even, and R. Kelly would have lived very different lives, focused on leadership and, and upliftment rather than being caught in cycles of trauma and exploitation. We know we can't change the past, but understanding these what-ifs can help us shape a better future. So let's keep building. Let's keep growing role, play, role players. Uh, our story ain't over. The story of so-called black people is not over. It's not over yet. So thanks for tuning in, role players. Role players TV here. Drop your thoughts and comments. What do you think the world would be like? What would it look like without the transatlantic slave trade? Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share. Share some love. Keep your head high and your spirit strong because we're all about that unity and truth over here. Stay blessed. Stay royal. Stay winning. Peace. Much love.